What's up, people of the internet? Welcome back to Last Anna Survival. Plan for today is to, believe it or not, I know this will come as a surprise to all of you, but I think I'm actually going to head out on a raid. Yep, I know, complete shocker. Haven't done one of them on a video for ages. Got to be about a full couple days at this point. So, plan is to go out on a raid. Pretty self-explanatory. I've got a floppy disk, I think, in this box. There we go. And now, this is annoying. Just for the sake of it, I was trying to fully mod a spear with all the best bits on it so I could then go and kill the blind one with the spear because I thought that would be funny. However, the only thing I'm missing is rope. I'm missing three rope there. Got everything there, just need two steel. And I'm missing 60 rope on that one. So if we can get any rope on this raid, that'll be really good. And base progress wise, it's going all right. No real major changes since last time. No changes at all since last time, I don't think actually. I've just been grinding out um, charcoal, turning into steel slowly but surely. At this rate, it's gonna take a while unless I can get back into the habit of doing the bunker every time it resets, doing normal mode, and then doing hard mode twice a week for a floppy disk. Right, so I should probably take my chopper out with me. Speaking of which, I have finally given my chopper the Halloween pattern, because, as you all know, Halloween pattern is the best one in the game. And I think, where is it? There you go, I even unlocked the military motorcycle, which I'm not going to bother using because it's only got four slots, and it's the six slots that you need especially if you're raiding a lot. So, I actually was going to have a video out, I believe, yesterday, but being the utter genius that I am, I didn't actually even click record. I just opened the recording app and started playing the game and went on a raid, and that was it. And then, at the end of it, went to click stop recording and started recording. So, not my smartest move ever. Yeah, it wasn't that good of a raid, to be fair, so didn't miss anything major. Got, I th can't remember what I got. I think I got 10 oak and a bunch of pine, and that was about it, really. I distinctly remember leaving a load of um, rope there, and it was possibly the revenge raid after I had all of my cloth stolen, and I just spent the whole raid looking for my cloth in the person's boxes. Because I left all my cloth in a box outside. Well, not outside, in my chest room. Not chest room, table room. There we go. And they took every single bit of cloth I owned, which was annoying. It wasn't the proper um, thick fabric. It was actually just little bits of cloth. Oh, that poor fast spider. Never knew what hit it because it's a zombie and has no construct of bullets. Right. Hello. You look sad. What, what do you say when we walk up to you now? Oh. Ah, oh, damn. I thought I had some blueprints. I can modify your weapons. That's my job. Was. Ah, oh, I feel so sorry for him. The devs had to just program in that little comment, didn't they? It's so cruel. Oh, I love it. My entire flat at the moment smells of... Not baking. Um, cupcakes. As Kira decided she wanted to make cupcakes earlier. We've had a rather successful day of just baking and cooking random things. So we had a lovely chicken stew for dinner. That was so nice. And then, yeah, she obviously made cupcakes and I made an apple crumble, which she did not want to risk eating, which I think is rather silly because it was delicious. Right, so we're gonna go over there and hope that it's not gonna give us an infected box because last time I did and then had to wait to go on the raid and forgot about the raid and the raid disappeared. So if we get an infected box, I'll just skip it with coins. We've got 1,319 of them. So we're getting pretty good. And I'm getting pretty tempted to invest in... What are we looking at? Some of the files of rare blueprints. Because we'll get nine blueprints from that. And I want to start trying to mod the Uzi. Because I'd say the Uzi is one of the best weapons actually in the game at the moment. Glock notwithstanding. I love the Glock. Ooh, that is a dense net of trees there. Okay. 
Now, also, if we can find a female puppy here, that would be good. Damn. Oh, I should not be using my silence weapons for this. Right, it's okay. Why are any of the toxic abominations aggroing on me? And why now when I haven't got the task to kill toxic abominations? That's just annoying. You know what, depending on how this raid goes, I might actually even turn this into a double raid video. Now hopefully we can get some food in here. Uh, no food, but... Ah, it was the rat making noise. But we got one of those things. Right, now... I'm not going to take any of this with me now. Oh, it's only one steel. I was hoping I'd get three steel from this to go towards my base work. Because I think I'm on 13 plates at the moment. I need seven more in order to build some... Well, build a wall. It's going to take so long to finish my base. And what would be amazing is if the devs added in the resource pack to the game again. Cause I don't know if any of you remember that, but it had a rare chance of getting like 280 steel and on my free to play account I, which I accidentally bought them on I got 1140 steel I then spoke to a dev uh, Veronica and she transferred the packs over to this account I opened them and I got absolutely no steel ooh okay right oh, for those that are wondering what I've been like why I haven't been posting the free to play account it's because I have been grinding like mad, because having all that steel sitting there in my inbox has been making me sad, so I've been grinding and making steel, and I'm working towards upgrading my base. Now, so some point soonish I'll have a video upgrading. Right, now I am get the feeling that this, don't shout at me people, might be a hacker, because I mean, look at it. They've got all the trees and everything. They've got trees growing inside their base still. Don't be honeycomb, that's all. Hey. And what do we... We broke right where the... Ooh, free generator. We broke in right where the sofa was. So we've actually made a load of extra noise. You know what? I might try and park the chopper in front of that door to see if we can actually stop the waves of zombies coming in and just open everything. And then when the big one turns up, what you do is just close the game and open it again, and it puts you back onto the main menu, or onto the main map screen, so you avoid the big one. I'm, I'm going to give that a go. It's alright. Wait, want to go past this? Ah, oh, look at that. Perfect. Can't get off your bike here. 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 Why not? <laughs> well, that's sad. Okay. Well, it's right there for when we want to stick stuff into it. Right, so... Okay, they've got a little steel box in the middle. I'm starving to death. Let's open this up, because I see a VSS in there. There we go. Right, we should have a wave of zombies coming in. Have we got any food? No. Why is there no wave of zombies? Huh. Okay. That's weird. Yeah, I'm going to say 100% this base is the base of a hacker. Hey, food. Oh, there we go. Now they're coming in. That's weird. Oh, yeah, the first wave doesn't come until, I think, 30 noise, is it? There we go. Right, and let's see if I can carefully place that C4 in there. So I don't do my usual thing and accidentally place it. Right, well. Is that. 
Really? That is all we can get from this entire base. Alright, come on, Des. At this point, you need to fix it. Right, like, okay, cool. From this base, I got one VSS, one shotgun, one M16, and one AK. As well as an electric generator, which is useless. Why is it giving me this base to raid? Like, for what purpose? Let's smash open this forge, see what's in here. Absolutely nothing. Okay, let's check the workbench for steel. Absolutely no steel. A little bit of that stuff. Why? It's just why. Why is the system giving us this base to raid? There's nothing here. You know what? That's because that was so disappointing. Let's turn this into a double raid. I've almost completed all the raiders' tasks back at the base. Let's um run back there. There we go. Bring them all around that way. Perfect. Seriously though, just one box with a bunch of empty bean cans and empty water bottles. <sighs> this game is so broken sometimes. So the devs have said they are planning eventually a complete rework of the radar system, but they've got no time frame for it now. Why is the oak clearing there? I have never seen the oak clearing there before. Normally it's up there. That's weird. Might be completely normal. I don't know. So, the devs have said they are planning a complete rework of the raiding system, but there's no planned date for it. So, those of you that are in the Last Day on Earth Discord, please use the suggestion command, which is equals suggest, and then you put topic, benefit, uh, topic, suggestion, benefit. And we just want everybody to join there and put the suggestion of fixed raids. That's it. Nothing rude, because being rude never helps anything. But if you're in the Discord, join it, send in the suggestion, because they need to see that raids are a high priority to get fixed. Right, there we go. Skip that one. Let's go out on a second raid. So at 21 days, 22 hours threat, three skulls. This will bring us up, back up to four skulls at least. And you know what? Let's take the generator from here. And let's see if we can cultivate any more generators. So for each of these crop plots, I started out with just one generator in the wall. And over time, as you can see, they've started growing some more. This one's not been doing too well, so maybe if we put an extra one in there, that'll help with growing some more generators. Because they're a pretty nice resource. Very good thing to grow. If you can start growing your own generators, I definitely recommend it. Let's go raiding. Well, speaking of updates, I'm not sure if any of you have seen, but the next planned update for the game is going to be... Oh, we're raiding a base with no name. Well, at least we can search that on YouTube. Oh, wait, we can't search on YouTube. Next planned update is going to be adding in the active skill mods to the game, which I'm really looking forward to, because I'll be finally able to see if I was right and that the saw blade is the metal cutter. I'm still convinced it is. Dev didn't say it's not, Cloud only said he can't confirm it, which in my eyes that's just can't confirm it. And people were having to go at me saying I was wrong, which is fine, everyone can have their own opinion, but lots of people agreed, so I'm sticking with that. But we'll see soon, hopefully. But we have absolutely no idea when the date will be for that update, unfortunately. So I'll have to wait and see. Right, let's go over to a nameless base. So what have we actually got in our inbox? I mean, we've got a couple of Uzis. It's weird that they haven't got the empty modding slot there, like the SCAR does. Hmm. Wait, have I got 1,300 plastic? I think I do. Yeah, I need to delete that. That is just taking up way too much space. Well, not way too much space. Doesn't need to be there. There's no use for plastic. Although, I don't want to delete it, because then they might add a use for it. I did that with like phones and USBs and everything. Deleted all my spare ones of them, and then they added to Recycler. And I felt silly. Okay, good. I thought for a minute there wasn't 
actually going to be a base here. Right, so we can go in. Oh, there's a um, stone wall there. How about we don't go in through the stone wall, see if there's a path in around these spikes through the twig section, which I don't think there's going to be. Right. A spike wall and a twig wall do not raise the same amount of noise as a single C4. So, I bet you that bit there is going to be closed off. Yeah. Oh, but we have gotten straight into some boxes here. Okay. See, this is already looking more promising than the last raid. And inside we're getting... Uh, nothing we really care about. I'll grab these wires. They can always come in handy. And now, I might have to check if recycling truck wheels can give you steel. Because if they can, then I will probably take them. Hey, some hatchets. That's good. Always like finding hatches on roads. Oh dear. That's okay, we've got the VSS. Can't miss at this range anyway. There we go. Right, I guess we could take these. I'll take a few turret parts. And yellow paint, because I haven't actually got any. Right. Can I break one of these walls? There we go. See, this raid's always going already going much better than the last one. Ooh. Oh, okay, so. We've got four boxes here. Oh, we've easily got enough noise, so we're going to break open these. Ooh. Okay, ATV wheels, I know for a fact when you recycle them, they can give you steel. So, I'm going to be taking them. Let me do that. There we go. That's much easier. It is so nice being able to do that. It makes it so much better. Right. Let's carry on looking. I'm not going to take them all from there yet. I want to have a look around first. Um, there's a lot of colours in there. Well, no, it's just a load of silver. Right. Keep searching. I'm convinced there's going to be some guns somewhere in this base. A little bit of oak. A little bit of military armor, some petrol. Oh, hello. Completely forgot there would be a wave coming in. I need to remember to actually check the noise I'm at. Okay, good. I did remember to silence the scar. There we go. No, don't get on it. That's the only thing I don't like about the chopper now. You can't ride it by default. Uh, okay, so we've got a few extra slots of that. All right. Let's um, sort this out quickly. That's um, there we go. Most of what I've got right now, I am willing to just straight up throw away and swap out for other things. So we're just gonna have to see what else we can find here. Um, let's click take all. See what we can stack. There's an electronic circuit there, but you know what? I'm gonna drop off these wires because I don't need them. Taking these, I'll drop off the batteries and USBs. Should I take the electronic circuit? You know what? I'm going to take the turkeys, grab the circuits, I am willing to leave them behind, and I'm going to feast on all of his dinner. Right, so let's just go straight through this door here and hope it's not a little honeycomb box. Oh, but they have got a little box in here. And this is protected by their only stone wall. Okay, and it was absolute rubbish in there. Alright. Let me out. Eee, we did it. Just managed to get past him. Now, I, yeah, that doesn't open anymore. They patched that, so we can't actually go in there any longer. Which is a shame. Right. In here, you can have a couple more ATV wheels. Now, so there's no weapon here. So there's nothing really that I can put in my extra slot. Let me quickly check what you can get from recycling the truck wheel. Um, 
anyone know what you can get for recycling the zombie truck wheel? Question mark, question mark. Hopefully the answer will be steel. And if you are watching this and you saw me type that in Discord, congratulations. And I will even say your name if you answer me. In chat right now, I mean. Hmm. Rope. We want rope. Actually, that's, that's not a horrible amount of rope. Uh, a little bit more. See, the issue is, there is actually nothing really that good at this base. So yeah, it looks like they almost had the starter base, possibly, but no, I think this this person was playing before the starter base was added. And scrap metal and steel from Syndicate R8. All right. Thank you very much. You have helped a lot. Right then, let's grab... Where on earth are those truck wheels? I don't think I've ever sounded more posh British in my life. Where on earth are those truck wheels? I hate myself sometimes. Right, um... Sorry, single yellow paint, you're not as important. There we go, let's get them. Let's get them. Hmm. Now, there's one more. Should I take that instead of the five petrol? I think I should. I'm going to take the turret parts, because even though turrets are useless, I am attempting to upgrade all of my turrets. Now, I think that's going to be everything we get from this base. Pretty sure. So... Let's take a quick circuit round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. And off we go. Nice. Yeah, scrap metal and steel is what I'm being told by a couple people now. Right, and we're back at the base. So the gains for today, vegan gains of course, we have got on four guns and a bunch of wheels, essentially. I think I've taken more wheels than anything else. So, sticking all these in here. There we go. How long's left on that? That's got 19 minutes left on it. I'll go to bed before then. Let's find out if that will... Will that, in fact, give steel? That will give steel. Awesome. Now, what I'm doing is using the ATV gas tanks to level it up to level 30 when there should be a 15% chance of getting steel. I think I might be wrong about that, but it'll be something like that. And at that point, I'm going to start recycling the other bits as well. Okay. Not sure. Oh, of course, the raiders are going to want something, aren't they? You happy with a bit of aluminium? Some scrap? A bit of oak? Electronic? Are you happy with just an electronic circuit? Well, there you go. Right, I'm going to call them back quickly. I'll see what they want, and... Cons mm. Now, I'm not going to do a third raid, but I will call them back and see what tasks they've got for us. Just because it's good to know what I'm going to have to be working on. That's the dealer. One steel plate, two only bars, air filter, electronic circuit, all that for a single puppy. I'm okay, thank you. It's a very kind offer, but I do not need more puppies. I'm trying at the moment to get the Bloodhound trait on more of my pups. So I've got, here we go, Piper and Ka Katie that have both got 4% Bloodhound. They are my only Bloodhound trait dogs, which sucks. So I'm trying to breed more dogs, but I cannot use either Katie or Piper. And I've got so many level 2 and 3 female dogs and I've got no level 1 females although Mia might end up being a level 1 female and I think Annie possibly no I think Annie's going to be a level 3 I'm not sure you know what let's grab Mia quickly okay Mia is a new true friend hello was not expecting that there you go, people. You can get the true friend without clearing data, as I've just shown you. Don't clear data, you'll lose your account. So it's a v incredibly careful hunter. 
who's also my true friend. But I I don't really need another true friend dog. I I was kind of going for Bloodhound, and I've I've already got the the black true friend. Can be taken with you, with the leader. So what I might do is breed Mia with Charlie, because then that's a guaranteed level four dog that will hopefully end up with leader and bloodhound shame you didn't have bloodhound you would have got to stay so the bloodhound is a very rare trait for rank 2 okay rare rare see now that saying uh, guard is common but I have got more with lit witty and leader than I have with guard I've only ever had one dog with the guard trait uh, there we go true friend can be taken with you right so we've got Louis growing up we got Rudy growing up, and we got Charlie growing up. Hmm. You know, what? let's do it. Uh, level one, and another level one male. Now, do I have a single level one female? I do not. That's 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 just sad. Oh well. Right, hey raiders, what's going on? So you want three deals with the dealer? 25 chests on dangerous locations, 20 kits, 20 iron plates, and the third floor. That, that is going to be an absolute breeze. I might in fact stream tomorrow night. So I'm recording this on Wednesday at... I'm recording this on Wednesday at half three in the morning. Did not know that. I thought it was a lot earlier than that. Right. So we're calling this Wednesday half three in the well, I guess technically Thursday now, half three in the morning. It is the seventeenth of January. Right. You know what? I think I should probably go to bed. So thanks for watching people. Hope you've enjoyed this nice double raid video and goodbye. Don't forget to sub.